All right, boys, in today's video, we're going to be going over and giving our predictions for the remainder of the Golden State Warriors season. If y'all want me to do the same with any other team, leave it in the comment section below, but let's start with it. So without any further ado, let's go with it. So the first team we have after the All-Star break, we got the Los Angeles Lakers at home, and this for the Warriors is going to be a dub. Two things. One, if LeBron's not playing, then it should be a comfortable dub. But even if LeBron is playing, the Warriors are not losing to the Lakers at home, back-to-back -back games. And after the last game they played against each other, I don't think they're losing. So that will be a Warriors W. And then we got the next game against the Charlotte Hornets. And I expect the Golden State Warriors W. Nonetheless, because it's the Charlotte Hornets. But come on, it's the Charlotte Hornets. This game should not be close at all. But it's going to be close, but Warriors are definitely going to win. And next game, we got the Denver Nuggets at home. So the Warriors got a good, good, good home stretch games. And this Denver Nuggets team, they are pretty beat us three times already. So I expect another Golden State Warriors dub here because I just don't think that the Warriors have to win at least one game against this team. They have to, bro. I might be wrong on these predictions, but I'm just saying they have to win a game against the Nuggets, and I think they're going to do. Then we got Jordan Poole and Draymond Green rivalry. Again, we got the Wizards, and I feel like it's probably another Golden State Warriors dub. It's the Wolken Wizards. They have like 10 wins on the season. Easy W. And then we got the New York Knicks on the road, and this is about to be a tough game for the Golden State Warriors. But I just feel like Steph Curry, prime time, he always shines in these moments. So I feel like this Golden State Warriors dub. And then the beginning of March, we got the Toronto Raptors. And Toronto Raptors whooped our ass last time. But this time, we're a much different team. We played much different aggression. We played much different basketball than the team beat before. So I expect the Golden State Warriors dub by a blow up because this team, Toronto Raptors, don't got Pascal no more. They got OG no more. So they're ass. So this should be an easy dub for the Warriors. And then you got the Boston Celtics on the road. And I expect a Golden State Warriors L. I don't know. I just don't know if the Warriors are going to beat the Celtics on the road, TD Garden. But this year on the road, they've been really fantastic. So, hey, you can never say that will be a loss. And then they got Milwaukee at home. And this is going to be a win for the Warriors. Because I'll just say this, and don't judge me here. Milwaukee Bucks, ever since Dark Rovers, has come as the coach. They've been shit. And the last time the Warriors played the Bucks, they didn't have no Steph Curry and almost won the game. So that's all I got to say. And they're at home. I expect the Golden State Warriors dub. Then you got the Chicago Bulls. And this Bulls team, I mean, this, this team's trash. Zach Williams out for the season. Easy Warriors dub. Then you got the San Antonio Spurs. Another easy dub for the Warriors comfortably. And then you got Luka Doncic and the Mavericks on the road. And I feel like this game can go either way, but I don't know. I just feel, I feel like the Mavericks are going to pull this off. But we can easily win this game. And then after that, we got the Los Angeles Lakers again on the road. I thought like the Warriors going to pick this W. They're not going to lose back-to-back -back road games. They can't do that. And then they got an easy-ass game against the Grizzlies. So they're going to win that. They're going to beat the Indiana Pacers. Then beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. Because the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Los Angeles Warriors rivalry has been crazy this season. If y'all see. But I just feel like the Warriors are going to pull this on off. They're not going to lose to the Timberwolves. And then you got the Miami Heat on the road. And I feel like the Heat are going to upset us on this one. That he might win on Sunday, so that's yeah, whatever. And then we got the Orlando Magic. That was a close game. The Warriors played great basketball and playing against the Magic, but I got the Warriors. Got back my dubs. And the Hornets again, easy W. So this schedule so far has been really easy. Then you got the San Antonio Spurs. That's gonna be another easy Warriors win. <laughs> like there is no doubt in my mind that the Spurs are gonna beat the Warriors. There is no way the Spurs are gonna beat the Warriors. And then you got the Mavericks at home. I feel like they're gonna be going to the Warriors dub. Okay, easy dub. And then you got the Houston Rockets, another easy W. The NBA is blessing us. Then you got the Mavs again. This is a makeup game. You got the Utah Jazz, and I feel like the Warriors are like, going to win against the Utah Jazz, and they're going to win the Dallas game before that for Ducky. Okay. And then Los Angeles Lakers. I feel like the Lakers are going to pull out this victory. And then the Portland Trailblazers, an easy, easy game for the Warriors. They're going to win. New Orleans Pelicans. There is a rivalry, little rivalry going on right now. And I feel like when it comes to these rivalries, the Warriors are always on top. You always have Draymond Green always going off. So I feel like Draymond Green will win that. And then the Jazz to finish off a regular season. And that's going to result in the Golden State Warriors dub. Alright, so the end so, so the end of the year, the Golden State Warriors will finish with a record of 51 wins and 31 losses. Yes, and I'm saying this because the Warriors have an easy ass schedule. But this is my opinion. This can go all wrong, but I know this is going to go right. But that's it for the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. And peace.